What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for another Fate video, and in today's video, we are taking a look at the event character for Summer 3, and that is going to be Summer Jolter. So Summer Jolter comes out as a Berserker character this time, and of course she'll be a 4 star character since she's an event character. But at level 80 she will have 9,922 HP and 10,298 attack. This will rank her 167th overall for HP and 72nd overall for attack. Her star absorption is 9, her star generation is 5%, and her noble phantasm generation on her attacks is 0.52, and on defense it is 5%. So basically Jolter is a glass cannon in my opinion. Uh, she can do some ridiculous damage, and as a welfare servant she is definitely a must have. Uh, she's, she's really, really good in my opinion, and it's Jolter, so you know that should be reason enough. Jolter in a swimsuit uh, should be reason enough for you guys to go for her. But let's go ahead and just talk about her skills real fast. So for her first skill, she's going to apply evasion to herself for one attack per turn, and then this will happen for three turns. It is on a delay though, so it won't take effect right away, but at the end of the turn, you're going to have that effect trigger. So it'll be very helpful, and being able to have this last for three turns is going to be very nice. Now, it does go away after three turns, not three attacks, so you're not going to be able to like keep it lasting forever. Um, but it is very good to have, especially as she's a Berserker, she's going to be very easy to kill. So being able to essentially dodge three attacks for three turns, and it is on a six turn charge time, so you're going to be able to keep her alive pretty frequently with this because of that skill. And she also does increase her own Noble Phantasm gain for three turns at 35%. So she has a pretty good buff there as well. And you know, this isn't like um, one of those situations where you have to pick and choose. Being able to increase your Noble Phantasm gain while getting evasion is is like a good combination there because you're gonna get your gain off of your attacks anyway or when you're getting hit so this one flows pretty well together her second skill will increase her own attack for three turns and then when she does her normal attacks she'll inflict burn on those enemies so not only does she give herself a 20 percent increase to her attack but she will be doing that burn damage and that burn will last for three turns and i believe it takes her 500 damage each time so being able to just stack in her normal attacks and you'll be able to inflict a ton of burn damage with this character. And then finally, her third skill is going to increase her own Buster card effectiveness for one turn, and this will also increase her own Noble Phantasm gauge by 20%. However, this will deal 1000 damage to herself. So this is kind of like a staple in Jolter characters, being able to do something like this. She gets a 20% increase overall for her Buster card effectiveness, and then you get that MP battery there as well. Uh, the only difference here is that she's not going to become invincible, so just imagine if she would become invincible in this, she'd be so much, I wouldn't say she'd be like so much better, but she'd be able to stay alive a lot longer than she might normally if uh, if she had the invincibility there. As for her passive, she only does have the Madness Enhancement, which will increase her Buster card effectiveness by 12%. But overall for her skills, she's got a fantastic kit of skills, honestly. Um, she can do some really insane damage and that burn damage is nothing to see that either being able to do it off of your normal attacks. It doesn't just inflict burn, it'll just do it off of your normal attacks. So you'll be able to stack it effectively. Uh, so overall for her skills, I will give her four and a half stars. As for her command card deck and her Noble Phantasm, her command card deck consists of one quick, one art, and three buster. And the hit counts are gonna be four on the quick and art, three on the buster, and five on the extra attack. So predictably speaking for, you know, damage output, you're gonna go buster, 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 extra. Uh, you're going to be able to do a ton of damage there. For Noble Phantasm generation, you're going to... Uh, she only has one Arts card, so you're going to have to bring in other Arts cards there. But if you do an Arts chain with her, you'll get 59% to your gauge. And for crits, you're going to go Buster, Arts, Quick, Extra for 15 stars. Um, you're really not going to be using her too much for critical stars, though. As far as her Noble Phantasm goes, she uh, is going to be able to deal damage to a single enemy. And then on the overcharge effect, she will apply burn to that enemy. And this will hit for a minimum of 3,000 damage. And, you know, she is a welfare servant, so you can get her up to NP level 5 very easily just by doing the event. So this character can hit from some insane amount of damage overall uh, with all of her buffs applied. So um, even without any sort of outside help, she can, she can definitely carry her own here and do some really good damage. And that is why her damage overall ranking is going to get 5 stars. Um, she just hits like a truck, really. Um, that's what she's there for. She's there to deal damage. And, you know, she's the Berserker, so that definitely makes sense as far as that goes. As for her critical ability, though, she's only going to get one star. 
she doesn't have critical ability at all so don't expect stars from her or any sort of crit damage or anything like that from her it's not happening uh, she makes up for it with raw power though so you know don't let that discourage you at all her noble phantasm will get five stars as well it is one of the strongest noble phantasms uh, especially for berserkers and just four star characters in general um, it just does a ton of damage ton of damage overall and you do get that burn there as well so even if an enemy does survive they're going to be taking some pretty serious burn damage off of that and it is going to last for three turns as far as survivability goes i am going to give her three and a half stars uh, this might be a little bit generous but that first skill is pretty effective at keeping her alive uh, the only downside is once that skill goes away she's going to drop really fast uh, she's very squishy as a character um this is very predictably uh, because she's a Berserker character, so she's going to die pretty quickly. Um, and she has pretty low HP to begin with, so you do have to be careful with that, but her first skill will keep her alive for hopefully long enough in order to uh, clear the wave, if not fire off her Noble Phantasm. So overall for support, I am going to give her 2.5 stars. Um, that's the average, she doesn't have anything for uh, support in her kit whatsoever, so um, I really can't give her any, any extra stars for that. Um, Effectively, I mean, I don't really know why I'm giving her stars to begin with, but um, I don't think she deserves like a zero. Like, anything below 2.5, you'd have to really earn um, or just have like no sort of ability whatsoever. Um, so two and a half stars is pretty standard. So we're going to stick with that. And that will give her overall ranking a 3.8 out of 5. She's a fantastic character, especially for characters um, or for players who don't have like many characters or any berserker character she can do a ton of damage and even for those people who do have a lot of berserkers she's going to do uh, a really good amount of damage too and you can use her on burn teams so i know personally i like a little bit of variety on my teams and i've always looking for ability to uh actually make like unique teams and not just use the same characters over and over again so having that burn aspect in there is definitely something to consider and you know maybe in the future we'll be able to do like some sort of like meta burn team or something um, I don't really know if that's something that'll happen, but it is something that I hope happens where we can use different variety of teams in the future. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. She's an event character, so obviously she's not on a banner. Uh, so nothing to talk about there, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I do have the links below to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and Discord. So feel free to check those out, and I'll leave you here with Jalter's Noble Phantasm. And let me know if you guys got vibes from Yu Yu Hakusho from her Noble Phantasm as well. And if you did, you're awesome. And if not, you probably haven't seen Yu Yu Hakusho, so go watch it. But that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.